Remember this guy? Uh, this is, uh, if, in case you don't know, this is Laura Ingraham's, uh, Laura Ingraham's um, ex-boyfriend. I only pronounce her name that way because I know it would irritate her. Um, the, uh, uh, didn't, the mess is uh, finally chiming in with his take. Gorka. All right, we'll see if we can find some Gorka, Jonathan. I think I do have a, I, I think I've got a one in there. Hopefully this one's short. I, I reserve the right to, to ditch out of this one because it'll be a bunch of dumbassery. Uh, Kevin McCarthy didn't count on the stubborn opposition, but much of it is his fault. So I think we know which side we're on in this particular situation, but let's see. And, and I'm very upset that Debbie isn't chiming in. Perhaps she will. I'm Brian Kilney. No, you're not. You're uh, Dinesh D'Souza. So is Kevin McCarthy going to make it to be the next House Speaker? I don't know. Why the fuck are you asking me? I don't know. Uh, oh, well, I, I wasn't asking you either. Were you asking yourself? Do you just sit in front of a camera alone in your garage, Dinesh? Is that what this is? Is that is this an intervention? We're going to have more drama today. And um, there have been three votes and McCarthy hasn't made it. That means that there is a solid holdout faction. And if I'm not mistaken, in the third vote, he even lost an additional vote. So he went from 19 opponents to 20 opponents. Now, it must be acknowledged at the same time that he does seem to have the support of the vast majority of the Republican group. Well, yeah, if he didn't, we wouldn't be talking about a number like 19 or 20. We would be talking about a number like 90 to 150. I, is this just, is this just hand holding? Did they just, are, are some of these sh like right wing shows just them like introducing you to the news? Like, like it's fucking pudding day at the old folks home and they're just holding your elbow. Is that how these things work? Holy shit. Uh, and so it is a minority of holdouts, but they are, they are determined to hold. If it, was a, if it wasn't a minority, they wouldn't be holdouts. They'd be the majority voting for somebody. Uh, never mind. Holdouts, and, um, and unless they back down, the simple fact is he doesn't have the votes. Now, That's, it's a, it is a simple fact, and, and lucky for Dinesh. What's going on here? I, um, I, why are you asking me so many questions? I showed up here to be informed. Please spoon feed me some nonsense. I'm trying to think this through and I, the yeah, this is a good time to do it. Where'd you learn your stat strategy from Kevin McCarthy? I think what I'll do, I could prepare this video and what I was going to talk about, but I think I'll just wing it and decide what I think about it on air. Um, I, I don't know what's going on or how I feel about anything. Let's explore. The way I this is the Bob Ross of political philosophy. We're going to put some nice bullshit right here. Right here up against this side. Yeah, we're going to fill in some lies. Just some little lies. Just put them right in there. And then, and then we've got Bullshit Mountain. Look at that. It looks like something Richard Dreyfus made in Close Encounters. Yeah, I do that is by laying out as objectively as I can both sides. Okay. Let's see if he can manage to do it. Uh, prepare to be dazzled, America. Now, on the one side you have, let's call it the Donald Trump, Newt Gingrich, Marjorie Taylor Green view. Yeah, that, that, that encompasses it. When I, when I try to kind of encapsulate one particular philosophy, those are the three people I slap together. And their view is, listen, McCarthy's got the guy, the guy with the most votes. McCarthy's the best we're going to get. McCarthy. Yes. It, you know, just, you know, if I know we're pissing into the wind, you just got to expect a little bit of drizzle. He has made a lot of concessions uh, in order to win the speakership. So let's do. You know, because that's leadership. Declare victory. Let's go with this guy. Who else is it going to be? Yeah, literally. I mean, it's, it's like, have you seen these other assholes? And for, let's, come on. He's the tallest one. This is how Republican politics work. 
Kevin McCarthy is the tall guy in the room. He's tall. He, Jim Jordan can't lead. He's shorter than Kevin McCarthy. This is how we operate. Can't we just get on with it? Settle. Settle, 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 settle. It's not going to be most likely Jim Jordan. I mean, Jim. Yeah, I mean, he'd have to buy a jacket and you'd, you guys would all miss his uh, pit stains. Jim Jordan himself is the one who nominated McCarthy, so. Yeah, that's a tangled web right there. I don't even know how to feel so about that. It seems to be obstructionist. It seems to be uh, game playing. Uh, why don't we just uh, accept the outcome that is um, there in front of us? Let's get on with it. Uh, let's go ahead and defund the IRS agents. All right, by the way, he just, he's trying to decide one, he was trying to describe one side of the argument, the whole pro-McCarthy side. And then he just, in the middle of it, started naming traits of both in a stack and then decided to move on. Even Dinesh D'Souza, um, A, doesn't know how this works and is just wants to get on with it because he doesn't give a fuck about who the Speaker of the House is. Let's go ahead and begin the investigations. Let the House get about its business. Mm -hmm. uh, and let's do it with the man who has the support of the vast majority of the Republicans, namely Kevin McCarthy. Trump waited. Yeah, man. There is the whole 20 other people thing, though. In, uh, just a little while ago. Uh, essentially, vote for Kevin, close the deal, take the victory, watch crazy Nancy Pelosi fly back home to a very broken California. And um, Kevin McCarthy is from California. I, I, I've been waiting for someone to read that out loud just so I can enjoy that moment. And it's possible that the that Trump's intervention might sway uh, some, although I would predict not most. Uh, Good prediction, because it didn't do shit. Uh, of uh, these holdouts. Now, cool. Thanks, Carolyn. I let's will. turn to the case for the holdouts, yeah. because uh, their view is this. It's been business as usual for way too long mm -hmm. on the Republican side. Yeah, uh, yeah, it's been... Yeah, they've, it's been business as usual. They've just been losery losing while they lose as they lose. They're, they're the winners at losing. And that's become the status quo. Uh, these Republicans are very... The, st the status quid pro quo when Trump was in office. ...used to. They've gotten way too comfortable with this kind of transactional model that is represented by... Kevin. Yeah, and that's the worst when it's a transactional model where like... People get in a back room and they go, I'll give you my vote, but what are you going to give me? Or I insist on these kind of things for myself if I'm going to give you my vote. And and even if you give them to me, I may not even do it. And the, oh, those are there. That's what they're doing in the, oh. So maybe they're not tired of it or? McCarthy that's represented by Rona McDaniel. Rana, I think it is Rana, isn't it, Rana? Help me, Rana. We'll put money into your campaigns in exchange for your loyalty. Which is how he shaved off 10 of the people that he got today. Um, you need to kiss the ring. You need to play the game. Uh, um, I'm pretty sure that's just how uh, Trump talks to hookers at Mar-a-Lago. Um, you better vote for McCarthy or you won't get on the right committees. He holds that over you. Or... If you don't put me on the right committee, I won't vote for you. And because me and my friends have all ganged up, we all get committee seats uh, that we of our choosing. Fuck everybody else or you don't get our vote. That kind of thing. So I just don't want you to think it's one sided. And basically, you've got this little faction, Lauren Boebert, Mac Matt Gates, and others who go, no, we are going to gum up the mm -hmm. works. We're going to uh, we're going to sort of stand up do all the things dinesh loves that we do except when we do it in this context toward history yelling stop if i can borrow a phrase from uh, william f buckley you, you can't intimidate us by telling us that we got to do it now in fact i mean i myself was chuckling a little bit because i heard someone say you know do you, i mean chuckling a little bit is what i would name this podcast if you're 
If Debbie hadn't told me to shut up at the meeting. Congress is paralyzed until we have a new speaker. And I'm thinking, that's a winning argument? Congress is paralyzed is kind of a good thing. It's right, same argument we heard from fucking Bob Good. It's not going to rush anybody into thinking we have to do this immediately. It's like these stores, you know, sale going out of business. Or, or, or. Yeah, I, I do agree. I think the Republican Party is a lot like a, a business with going out of business signs on the front of it. it, it there's a lot of similarities. You can only get these deals until tomorrow and so on. Look, this process. You have to you have to leave on the part where it says you can only get these deals until tomorrow and then the deals are available all year round. Kind of like my pillow, like what he's getting sued for. This of electing a speaker is complicated and it, it operates by ballot. And the simple truth. Yes, that is complicated. Did you, have you, have you thought about a show called 212 Mules? of it is if you don't have the votes you don't have the votes now yeah you might want to share that with trump or those other assholes you did that movie with who are going to jail the question is what next uh how does this play out i, I look you're over quote on questions dinesh out there are a couple of ways i think it could play out well first of all let me spell out how it's not going to play out yeah, that's, that's good, because that's the way, you know, you got to fill time. Uh, some people have been putting forward the idea that somehow th there could be a Democratic speaker. Maybe uh, some Republicans will make a pact with Hakeem Jeffries, the Democrat. I think that this is just fear mongering. Republicans are not going to vote for a Democratic speaker. So I think we can take. Yeah, I, I got news for you, buddy. Um, if they can't have McCarthy and and the version of the speakership is dictated by Matt Gates. you bet your ass they would do Take that. Take that one really off the table. The real question is this. Um, is there a way to stop McCarthy? Answer, yes. Just don't yield. Uh, and McCarthy is... Brilliant. Brilliant. I, I got, hold on one second. Done. Hold There's on. no way he can get... Hold on. Hi. Yeah. Uh, is this Marjorie Taylor Greene's office? Yeah. Um, uh, wait, Dinesh uh, says that you were wrong to move to McCarthy and you should hold the line. Yep. It's the only way. It is the, yeah, the only way. I'm quoting this. The only way. Um, what, um, it was, if, if it's the only way, yeah, I don't know what the other way, I don't know that there is another way. It's the only way. That's all way it's this just it's the way this that you've got a way about i don't know um so just do that and uh find another speaker when the when the way when they run out of when you get out of the way yep okay fuck you too get through if these 19 republicans hold firm or the 20 republicans or seven Republicans hold firm it's not but who's counting? Not going to happen. Now, admit he could make enough concessions uh, in which they relent, and that I think would be an acceptable outcome. You have McCarthy basically now uh, agreeing to act a little bit more like um, a fighter and a little bit less like uh, you know uh, Frank Luntz's roommate. By the way, McCarthy has a cozy deal by which he rents a. Uh, part of uh, Frank Luntz mansion and pays a token in rent. So this is literally what. Be <laughs> so they they're shacked up. I, I so I I you didn't drop this. This, this is a uh, this is part of the problem that Matt Gates and and Bobert have is that if I if I hear you right, Kevin McCarthy and uh, Frank Luntz are uh, figuratively sleeping together. Is that? Um, I mean, it's shocking news for me. Does Matt Schlapp know? This is what we mean when we talk about business as usual. Well, what kind of business are we talking about? Who is usually giving them the business? Is In Washington, this is what the dissidents are trying to stop. The dissident is here. Option two. Mm-hmm. I don't know that that was really an option. Okay. Uh, McCarthy steps aside and Steve Scalise becomes the kind of consensus candidate. I think if McCarthy steps aside and Scalise steps forward, there'll be a lot of pressure to sort of go with this guy because it's kind of, well, at least he's not Kevin McCarthy. Even <laughs> Yes, that's that's how Sk Steve Scalise wants his tenure 
um, as the Speaker of the House to be remembered. How'd you get the job? Well, I wasn't Kevin McCarthy. How'd you lose it? Um, I had to do some regular order business, and it just took one asshole to get me voted out. Because they did it on a day when nobody was in Washington. It only took nine votes. Ha Hakeem Jeffries became the speaker because all the Dems were in town for a party. Even though Scalise is much closer <laughs> to McCarthy than he is, for example, to Jim Jordan. Now, interestingly, I bet if you had a, a vote among the Republican base, and this is not, not how these things are decided, but if... Right, yeah, and thank God. If you did, I bet you Jim Jordan would win. He'd beat Scalise, he'd beat McCarthy. He seems to have support both... Yes, because the base loves somebody who doesn't really want the job. That's what they loved about Trump. And they think it's great to put somebody who is wholly unqualified and not interested into a very important role. It's a, it's a key um, a philosophical uh, tenet that they believe in. Both in the McCarthy wing of the Republican Party and in the Matt Gates, if I can use that term, wing of... No, it's, it's, there's no Matt Gates wing of the party. Um, the only wings are when he flies an underage girl out of Florida to Georgia, allegedly, while on drugs. Allegedly. Her on drugs. Him too, probably. The Republican allegedly. Party. So Jordan has pretty broad appeal, but again, Jordan doesn't, mm. doesn't seem to be willing to challenge McCarthy. And so I think the likelihood... Which is a sign of true leadership. Right? ...of getting to Jim Jordan. If you got to Jim Jordan, uh -huh. uh, I think we'd actually be better off. And that this... Yeah, I, I do too. Because he wouldn't be on committees. He'd spend all of his time yelling at other Republicans. And this campaign against McCarthy would be... Would have to be declared a resounding success. But on the other hand, if... His campaign... He didn't... He's not doing a campaign against McCarthy. He would get the job because people can't stand McCarthy. That's not a campaign. If you don't get McCarthy and you get Scalise, uh, or you- You're not getting Scalise. ...end up with McCarthy, then, you know, it, it was probably a valiant try, uh, not to say that it achieved nothing, but it will not have achieved its, uh, its full uh, objective. Fuck me, this is boring. Um, we should know soon how all of this, in fact, plays out. Right. Yeah, so uh, just the, uh, it's just, I mean, word salad gives this too much credit. It sounds like it's at least got fiber in that case, that you could get a good shit out of it. No, this is too, this is too stupid. This is like, this is like alphabet soup if it only had one letter in it. <laughs> I don't, this is. Fuck. At least when Debbie's on, he's just disturbing and gross. Oh my gosh, Dr. Kev's gal. Thank you so much for gifting the memberships. I didn't even know you could do that on YouTube. Bless you. You guys are being lovely. I'm, I'm overwhelmed again. Mm.